What's good everyone, it's Steve from Sneaker Tech Talk back with another video today. And for today's video, we're gonna take a look at the newly released Puma MV1 Low in the white and silver colorway. So starting off with the box in the Puma MV1 Low, you have the Galaxy print overall. It says not from here. You have this little window on the middle of the box, kind of the shoes peeking through that window. And then it says subject 01 Mellow with his logo right here and the Puma cat. And the size tag reads 10 and a half in the Puma white and silver in the MB1 lows. And then when you open them up, you have the shoes, you have a little cardboard insert kind of separating the shoes. And then as I mentioned before, I did get the white and silver Puma MB1 lows. I already have the blue and turquoise pair but these released July 13th and I was lucky enough to have a friend put a pair aside for me. So again, let's take a look at the Puma MB1 Low in the white and silver colorway. So as far as the details go on the Puma MB1 Lows, you do have that textile mesh at the back of the shoe here and then some embroidery. Those are the flames for his rocket ship tattoo on his calf. Moving your way to the back of the shoe, you do, you do have the Puma cat at the top and then it says mellow going down. Then working your way over, you do have a Puma logo here, the Stripe logo with a cat kind of on the outsole that runs up the side of the shoe. And then on the tongue, it does say one of one. And then again, you have his logo here with the one and the MB and the wings. And then at the base of the eye stay, it does say not from here. Moving your way to the medial side, you do have, I would say this is more of like a faux new buck material here and it's more of those flames and then on the bottom of the shoe you do have an all white outsole and on this little guy here it says golden child with a puma cat in the middle and then at the bottom of the shoe at the heel it says one of one so as far as the support goes on the puma mb1 lows if you don't know they do have that tpu x pattern here so as far as the lateral support on hard cuts this really harnesses your foot and fantastic and it doesn't run up too high on the shoe where it offers some restriction. It's just high enough where it's gonna give you some great lateral support. And then again, this is a low cut shoe and this is a textile mesh, so it does take some time to break in. Moving your way down on the shoe, you do have this fuse ran at the toe and on the eye stay, so that offers some extra durability and support. You do have some screen mesh at the toe, which is offers a very broken in feeling right off the bat. And then basically the same materials on the medial side. This is overall just a very clean colorway. I don't think I'm gonna do another performance review as I've already done two on this shoe and the low tops perform the exact same as the mid tops in my opinion. They're just missing a few features like the rare on the outsole. On the mids, it says rare across the forefoot. On the lows, you don't get that. But again, it's a very good shoe, a little bit of a heavy shoe but I think it's a great first signature shoe for LaMelo Ball from Puma. So I think they did a great job. And then if you can see on the inside of the shoe, the insole is kind of like an all over galaxy print. So as far as the colorways that just released, you got this white on white, and then you got the white on blue with the blue flames and some blue accents, and then the white on red, which I really wanted, but I kind of struck out on that. My local champs only got the white on whites. So I was able to pick these up. So I think they're doing a great job as far as the colorways go. It looks like they're done with the mid tops all together now. So you might see some more low tops going into the next NBA season. But again, this is just a quick look at the Puma MB1 lows. And then as far as the traction, if you haven't played on these or haven't checked out my performance review, you kind of have this radial traction pattern. It's kind of a spiral traction pattern. It's a very firm compound. So if you do get these and you wanna play outside, I think you're gonna be fine. As far as indoors go, these perform awesome. There's a very loud squeak on them and really no issues with durability. My pair that I've had for about six months now, the red pair, they have zero wear and tear at all and I probably put over 100 hours in them so far. So as far as the traction goes on the MB1 lows, they're great. At the heel here, it's more of a diamond pattern with some slits going through. But again, as far as the overall durability and reliability of the traction, you're not gonna have an issue on the Puma MB1 lows. But again, Puma's been absolutely killing it. It's just if you can get your hands on the Puma MB1 Low as they're selling out instantly online, at least here in Canada, they're gone. Like if my local champs gets 20 pairs, 
there's 50 people in line waiting for these shoes. So I've had to make some calls and have a pair or two put away here and there so I can get my hands on them. But again, online as well, they're just selling out instantly on the Puma web website. So I think Puma really has something special here with Lamello Ball and the shoe performs awesome. So I think that's the main thing is a lot of people are hearing that these are great on court. So you really can't go wrong if you can pick these up and get your hands on them. They have fantastic cushioning with that nitro foam. The overall support is awesome on these. And then the traction is very reliable. Materials are really nothing crazy, but they offer a pretty good overall material package. It's more of that 2010 or 2011 Nike basketball with a textile screen and views ran at the toe. Again, it's nothing special, but it definitely gets the job done on court. So that's gonna do it for today's video on the Puma MB1 Low in the white and silver colorway. Like I mentioned, if you can get your hands on these at retail, I think it's a fantastic buy at 120 USD, 135 over here in Canada. This colorway is very clean. I'm very much looking forward to getting these on court. Obviously, I won't be doing a performance review of this pair on court because I recently just did a performance review of the UFO colorway. You can check that out on the channel if you want to check out the performance review of the MB1 Lows. But again, they perform exactly the same as the mid, so if you have those, you already know the nitro foam. And as far as the textile mesh, the screen mesh up front, and the fuse round on the toe, it's an overall cheap setup, but I really enjoy the setup on court, so I can't really harp on it too much. And then again, the traction's very reliable. That nitro foam's awesome. So I'm really enjoying what Puma is doing with their basketball shoes right now. And I'm actually looking forward to playing in a few of their other models later this year. But that's gonna do it for the review of the white and silver Puma MB1 Lows. As always, if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that helps the channel a ton. As I mentioned before, check out my Instagram at 23MJ88, as it is an extension of my YouTube channel, but just more of my collecting and all of the behind the scenes footage of me playing basketball on court. But until next time, peace.